Metro Atlanta family who lost their mother last week in a house fire has now also lost their father to COVID-19. This mother was recovering from COVID herself. She was quarantining herself in the basement when the fire started. She was not able to escape. She was down there trying to protect her family and then found herself trapped in that fire. Yeah, she couldn't get out. Joe Ripley spoke to the family who hope their tragedy serves as a wake up call to people not yet vaccinated. Smile on his face. A good attitude. I mean, loving person. That you Joel and Lindsay Banos remember their cousin, Humberto Giron, as a family man. The father of four owned a gutter company and ministered at Tabernaculo de Fe in Lawrenceville. Yeah, very emotional, very tragic. Um, you know, but the kids, God bless them, the kids are just doing the best they can do and they're being as strong as they could be. The 46 year old Giron had been in the hospital for three weeks battling COVID, his death a stark reminder that the pandemic is ongoing. Nearly 20,000 people have died of COVID in Georgia, according to the Department of Public Health. I know we're all tired of this and we want it to be done, but the reality is we are not right now. And this is very real and people are hurting. And, you know, if there's one message to kids with one and out there, get your vaccines. The home where tragedy first struck this family last week has since been boarded up, deemed unfit to live in by the city of Buford. It was one week ago when Umberto's wife, Febe Santos, lost her life in a house fire. She was recovering from COVID. The cause of that fire remains a mystery, though firefighters say it started in the basement and they could not rule out multiple power sources. They were each other's rock, you know, pushing each other through. Very loving couple, loving family. Even they couldn't separate it. <laughs> separate them. Yeah, joined in life and joined in death. The couple's four children have since moved in with the Bonos family who have four kids of their own. The Bonos credit the community for stepping up to help with donations, prayers and support for the road ahead. If you think of Atlanta as such a big city, even you know when you're from a small town like I am, but then you realize how small and close we all feel sometimes when something like this happens and how it just brings everybody together because you know, it will not be an easy road for them now and in the future, but their family will, will rally around them and we will help them every way we can.